can speak upon, I think, the current producers that are working on First Take, uh, two brothers, I think, by the name of uh, Dave and Antoine. Uh, tell me about them and uh, about the involvement of, of the two African Americans on the show First Take and well, how, how instrumental that means well, to you. Well, you know, well first of all, when I got on board, when Skip Bayless was kind enough to ask me to do the show and Jamie Horowitz was mm -hmm. the executive producer of the show, they're both at Fox now, uh, Fox Sports 1, um, I made it very, very clear. I'm not going to be up in here and I'm the only brother. I mean, mm. can we get some diversity up in here? I like that. I need this addressed. Mm. And to their credit, neither hesitated. Mm. Um, you know, Dave Roberts is a different beast. Yeah. Uh, yes, he's a black man. Yes, that matters. But Dave Roberts is the greatest boss that I've ever had. Wow. Uh, our sensibilities are locked, lockstep. Mm. We are sensitive to the same things. We care about the same things. We have similar visions. We vibe with one another. He's a pit bull. He don't play. And no matter how much he holds people accountable, it's nothing compared to the accountability he puts on my shoulders. Um, he's my guy. I'm his guy. But he makes it very, very clear that I'm holding you to a higher standard and damn you damn well had better meet it. And he makes that very, very clear. And I don't mind that because he's, he's, he doesn't have a BS bone in his body. It's not who he is. He, he's not so just somebody that oversees me on television. He's the boss of radio. And he's been in television for over two decades, and a lot of people don't realize it because he's the GM of the audio division. Wow. But this dude has an extensive television background. Uh, but he's a phenomenal boss who cares about uh, promoting black folks yeah. who are worthy, uh, but he doesn't limit it to just them, just like I don't. Uh, we're about mass appeal. We ain't about black appeal. Black appeal want I absolutely mandate that that comes with it. Yeah. I don't want mass appeal at the expense of the black community. Yeah, exactly. But I'll be damned if I just want appeal to the black community. I want appeal that resonates nationwide, if not globally. Mm -hmm. That's who I am. That's what I'm about. The 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 wider my voices my voice ranges, the better it is for everybody. Because I'm confident that I'm going to have the sensibilities necessary to contribute to uplifting my community. Um, and even though, again, I'm not against anybody, I love my people, and I'm just not one to think about elevating myself while leaving us behind. What advice do you give to that up-and-coming journalist, uh, per the young kid, the young brother, that, mm -hmm. that is thinking about taking this step into this industry? What, you know, t Tell them how, what steps they should take it's and simple. what they should do. It's real simple. It's about being on your grind. Okay. It's about understanding that nothing is owed to you, but more importantly, Folks don't believe they owe you anything. It's bad enough it ain't owed to you. It's another thing when they know it, and they damn sure ain't going to give it to you. So you're going to have to work for it. And you're going to have to make sure that you pay attention not just to reality, but to perception. Yeah. How you look, how you present yourself. I'm not talking about physically. Overall, the message that you deliver, how you carry yourself, what your objective and agendas are. Hmm. These are all things that's relevant. Because in the end, unless you own your own business, you are extending a hand for someone's help. Wow. They have to want to help you. You have to incentivize them to do so. And it can't be just by doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You need to wake up every day thinking about what's beneficial to the individuals whose help you seek. Mm -hmm. When you do that, then you have inroads into what ultimately would lead to your success. Mm -hmm. If you are clueless to that portion of your agenda, you're clueless, period, mm -hmm. because you want to help in hand without wanting to incentivize those to help you. That makes no sense. Final question, legacy of Stephen A. Smith. What did you want to be remembered as um, if, if you could have it your way? Somebody that was just as real and as straight up as I could possibly be um, who cared about people and cared about being fair. That's it.